YouTube. The first bundle was bad. Didn't pull anything that amazing. But I put the coin. I put the points on the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another bundle. See how it goes. Y'all tell me if this one is worth it. Another 40 gold packs. Another three elite player packs. Hopefully we pull an 85 plus somewhere. There was an elite first pack with Sharp Matthews. I'm saying, I know he's not that fast, not that tall. Pretty average wide receiver. Won't start for me. My man Kane's in the chat with the sub. My man JP. Sub 14 months in a row. That, that's a blue logo. That's my guy. I appreciate it. Calvin Benjamin. Back to back packs, back to back elites. Boom. Yeah, make sure y'all DM Child on YouTube. On, on, I forget what Child. If y'all know Child, DM him. He has codes for Madden. I'm saying another D4 card. That's, that's two D4s. I, I need a couple players here, boys. I need a couple players. I, I, I need an 85. I need an 85 plus. My man Mike in the building, man. I need some more hennies in the chat, man. People subbing, and I don't see y'all putting hennies in the chat. It's got to be a lot of hennies in the chat tonight, man. I got to see a lot. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of gold, bunch of gold. I need something to pop. Yeah, so I'm. A, it is EA access, so I don't know what I'm another Rashard Matthews. Jeez. They're blessing me with Rashard Matthews cards. So I don't know if I'm going to sell all these cards or I'm going to keep them and stash them from when the actual game launch. We'll see. But for right now, oh, I got a punter. But for right now, we just want to open as many cards and get as many items in the binder as possible and then see what to do with them so far after that. You know, I have a lot of GMs on my Mutt team. Chris Harris Jr., that's a great pull. Got to be a great pull. 85 overall, 83 speed, kind of slow, I guess. But, you know, 86 zone, 86 man. Got to be a great corner to start the game. That's probably the best pull I had in the, in the first two bundles. Chris Harris, boom. Need that. And that's early in the bundle. So we still got plenty of time to get a good pull. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't boost. EA, people always think they boost the streamers' packs and stuff like that. That's just not true. You know, that's just not really how it goes. So, hopefully, we can go ahead and get a couple more cards. Not necessarily. You don't necessarily need to get the high end cards. Sometimes you need good cards that, that can play on the on the team. You know, not any card has the uh, has great stats right now early in the game. So a lot of times you're just looking for a card with, with good good size and good speed. Because nobody has 91 zone or nobody has 95 truck. Now, right now you need people that can catch people and, and they're tall enough to swat some passes down and make some plays on the field. But Chris Harris would definitely start, definitely be a great player for the team. DJ Alexander, salary cap goon. Rags goon early in the year last year. 80 speed, 6'2". That's a decent, that's exactly what I mean. You got decent size at linebacker, 80 speed. That's a good player. Now, a lot of y'all go over him and say, you know, he's nothing, but he can start for you, especially early in the year in Mutt when nobody's really fast. I know Shane Wynn is fast, too, 86 speed. So you got to know this stuff from playing Rags. It's not all about Mutt. You got to know some of the players. I just need I just need one little nice, uh, one more night. Chris Harris can't be it for this bundle right here. It can't be it. This can't be it. Byron Maxwell, Philadelphia Eagle bust. Product of the Legion of Doom. The Legion of Boom, whatever it would be. Dewey McDonald. I don't even know. Dewey McDonald's still in the league? Jonathan Jones. This is another one right here. What? 88 speed. Fast. You got you to you look at those. Find the players that can make find the players that can make a difference on the field, even if they're not high overalls. I don't really like banning people. Depends on what they say. Some people are wild. Andrew Sandejo. That's an elite. An elite, an elite, an elite. Sandejo's slowing rags. He's got to be slowing money. I don't even want to look. It's probably 75 speed. So he definitely won't play, but it's an elite. Regardless. Lamarcus Joyner, another good card because I know he has good zone. Really short. Not that fast, but I know he has good zone, and he's at 85 overall. Because he's that short, I don't think he, he's a good player on Madden. You know, that's the same thing about Tyron Matthew. I never really thought Tyron Matthew was good, man, because just so short. I mean, when your player models that small, you can't do the shit that the, the bigger player models can do. 
Simple as that. I haven't pulled any good Eagles, really. Except Darren Sproles, who they always kill him mad. And I don't know why Darren Sproles... Darren Sproles is the slowest running back in the game. Every year. Earl Thomas power up. Trey Boston. I got another Trey Boston. I already had one of them. There we go. Cameron Wake. What's Cameron Wake looking like? 70 speed. 85 power move? That's pretty dope. Shout my man PJ Taylor in the chat, man. Put some hennies in the chat for my guy. I appreciate you. I'll trade all them hennies in the chat for my guy. I appreciate it, PJ Taylor. I need something else to pop for me. Upgrade cards. The upgrade card has a lot of training points. I don't really. I gotta figure out how to get the training points, so I can go ahead and, and upgrade these players. I did upgrade my Pat P all the way to like I think an 82 overall. So Pat P is my my number one upgrade player right now. So I'm, I do it at real time. One of my upgrading real times. I had a full copy. I don't know what the best card you can pull. I don't even know. What, can I pull like a Randy Moss or something? Like I. Child, you're the one that works at EA. You're supposed to have these answers. I saw somebody... Champ Bailey? Hey, 84 Legend. I mean, he can play right now, really. 85 Speed. That's a decent card. Decent card right there, that Champ Bailey. Really? I get a, a thousand training points? Why? I mean, I don't have Hall of Fame edition. I want a thousand training points. Oh, man. We got to pull something pull, pull something tough here, man. TJ Green. That's a card I've been looking for. I, once again, 86 speed, 77 hit power. Just a goon. I, I swear to goodness. This guy's a goon right here. Like I said, nobody has high zone. 74 zones want to get it done right now for him. I mean, he's, he might not play good, but he's going to be fast enough and tall enough to make up for how bad it is. Would you want an 82 zone player with 80 speed? No. Nah, we'll see how they play, though. Because that's how I thought last year, and that's how it did work last year. Shot my man Big Wizzle with the green beam. My guy. Definitely need some hennies in the chat for that, man. I appreciate that, man. I'm I, Wiz, I'm gonna do that right on the game right now. I appreciate it. We're gonna get another. We're gonna get another twelve thousand points for that. I appreciate it, man. Put some money to check my man, Big Wizzle. We're gonna do that right back on the game. Donate a hundred dollars to me. That's some. Real, that's real. You know, I really appreciate it. It's my guy. Oh man. Exactly. Hey, Paul, that's why I'm going to use the tall guys with good speed, man. I want to have a goon secondary out there that's fast and tall. They're going to make plays today. Aaron Rodgers picture. I got the face mask done. The helmet's about done. I'm going to keep going with it. So my man, Wizzle, I got you. It's right there. Still getting drawn. They ain't forget about you. It's man season now, so you know we're here. It's on, it's on my drawing board right now. I, the one thing about me, I never take drawings off the drawing board. And I know I just I just signed up for another autograph session to meet probably my favorite football player ever in Donovan McNabb. And I have to draw his picture by the end of September. So the, the Aaron Rodgers will have to get done before I do the Donovan McNabb. Wesley, what's up? Big money? I seen Wesley. All his, all his consoles fried. He went out and bought two new consoles. I mean, I'm just trying to be rich like Wesley, man. Somebody let me hold something. That's all I need in my life. My man Joe Rice in the chat. Madden legend. Finish Madden 18 really tough in the Mudhead League. We'll see what he does. Excited to watch that. I believe it's August 18th, the Mudhead playoffs, which I did not qualify for. I had too bad a start to the season. But we're going to watch the playoffs. Mudhead, August 18th. Playoffs are on Madden 19. Some of the best man players in the world. We'll see how they play in a new game as opposed to how good they were at the end of 18. Many people said Joe Rice was a product of being a June goon. So we'll see how he plays early in Madden 18. So make sure y'all check that out. 
Yeah, for real. Oh, I thought that was a good play right there. Oh, yeah, Ann Arbor. Oh, no, no doubt. Actually, funny story about that. I actually gave that John to Bugs because he's a huge Lion fan. I actually gave him that. That's my guy, so I gave him uh, I gave him that John in uh, Ann Arbor. Elite! Deshaun Watson. Oh, he might start. <laughs> he might start for me. I mean, I'm trying to get the YouTube top, so make sure to hit the sub, comment. I mean, this bundle, I had a Chris Harris, but other than that, I've kind of been, hey, we got a punter. i kind of been just scrolling through the cards, see what we get, see what we got. You know. Got a couple good goals. Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar, Philadelphia Eagle. He might start on my team. And you know what? I've watched the Super Bowl a bunch since the end, and it's, it, we have not talked enough about how good a game Nelson Aguilar had in the Super Bowl. Because he didn't have a game winning touchdown like Ertz or the or the, or the Moss and like like uh Alshon Jeffrey had. Nelson Aguilar had about nine catches. I think he had over a hundred yards. He had an unreal Super Bowl. Made so many big plays in between the hashes outside the numbers. Always came down with the ball. He had a great Super Bowl and actually a whole great uh 2018 season. After two years of we're ready to write him off as him being a bust. Really stepped up this year under Doug Peterson. Had a great Super Bowl. And it's not talked about enough how good Nelson Aguilar was in the Super Bowl. So I don't care what happens tonight. Nelson Aguilar is starting on my Mutt team. Next pack. Is that it? Are we done the gold packs? We're done the gold packs. What did Nelson Aguilar? Let's see what I can get for these. Uh, Let's see what I can get with these. Uh, Oh, that was the elite packs. That was the end of the line. That was the whole bundle. Boom. Nelson Aguilar was the end of the bundle. So now I'm up to 580. That's two bundles. Let's see what elites I got last. Let's see. Quality elite. We're going to go to the newest ones. And I'll tell you which ones actually came in that bundle. I believe it was Rashad Matthews was the first. So that one I went ahead and got. I got a champ Bailey. Was able to grab 85 Marcus Jordan. 85 Chris Harris. Started with Rashad Matthews. So I wound up with 12 elites from that bundle. Not crazy. Got some decent cards. Better cards than the other one, but also not crazy. That's two hundred dollars, and I'm out here with twenty-eight elites. So two hundred dollars, twenty-eight elites. I mean, you take it for what it is. It's early in the year. Don't know how many coins that's gonna make, but that's where we're at right now. So if you like, if you hit the sub, comment if it's worth it. I spent two hundred dollars. I have twenty-eight elites. Let's see how many golds I have. For $200, I have 271 golds. So I want to try to turn this into many coins as possible. Probably hold on until the full game comes out. That way I'm able to maximize my coins. But I have my Mutt GMs working on that. We're going to have a conference call about what to do with all these damn cards I just got. So right now, my entire my entire binder is at 580, 580 cards. I spent $200 so far. So we'll see what it gets. Like I said, hit the sub, hit the like. And comment whether it's worth it. $200 for 580 cards. Dude!